Blake Leibel and his girlfriend Yana Cassian lived together in a Hollywood condo until police found Cassian murdered. Leibel says her death was linked to gambling debts, but investigators turned to his book to search for clues. 48 Hours correspondent Maureen Maher takes us inside this week's 48 Hours. Blake Leibel was born into an incredibly wealthy Canadian real estate family. But in his early 20s, he moved to Hollywood to make it big. And it was Leibel's idea to write this graphic novel, Syndrome, about a vicious murderer. He married a model and had two children with her. He had a girlfriend on the side and then fell in love with yet a third woman. Yana Kossian was an immigrant from the Ukraine and had a baby with Blake. Her biggest dream was to, you know, have children and raise a family here in the United States. Her mother, Olga. Yana was happy. She was very happy. And he too. Despite that happy picture, there was a time when Blake had worried he might lose everything because of his brother Cody. He's a big man about town, you know, loves fast cars. He's the flashy brother. He's the flashy one, yeah. Cody was a big gambler, says Scott Johnson, a writer for The Hollywood Reporter and a 48 Hours consultant. Johnson says Cody played in a high stakes poker circuit called Molly's Game, which was recently depicted in a Hollywood movie. They were going all in all the time. Blake's fear, justified or not, was that the celebrity poker game had some dangerous characters, Russian mobsters who might seek revenge on his own family because he believed Cody owed them a lot of money. And he was expressing these fears in text messages to a very close friend. In May 2016, Yana's seemingly charmed life came to a horrible end. Police swarmed this building after a mother's intuition told her something was not right with her daughter. This case reads like a movie script. It's just more like a horror movie. The injuries she suffered were horrific. Blake himself pointed detectives in the right direction, telling them... Science is going to tell you who did this. And the science of the blood evidence would shock everyone. Wow. Yes. It's stunning. Yes, it is. And Maureen Maher joins us here at the table. Welcome. You know, we noted the, the reference to Molly's game, and the family actually has a connection to that as well. What role did that play in the investigation? So it, it actually plays no role in the investigation. It's on the outer rim of it. His brother, Cody Libel, was involved with the game. And because he had owed money, we believe, to the game, there was a concern by Blake Leibel, who's the defendant in this case, that somehow the Russian mafia was after him. But in the end, he doesn't even use that uh, as part of his scenario of what may or may not happen inside this condo. It's, uh, it's probably one of the more gruesome stories I've ever covered. Yeah, wow. So much so you can't even talk about it. Why was the lack of blood or blood or lack of blood so important in this case. What's important about that is that they expected to see a lot more evidence around the condo, and they didn't. And because of that, they called in a luminol expert. I think mm. most of us have yes. heard of that. And the reason they did it, even though they figured out how she died, they had an idea, and who did it, it's that they wanted to know her story. And every victim has a story, yep. and even if they can't tell their story, they still have, deserve to have their story told. Mm. All right, Maureen Mahar, thank, thank you. you. You can watch Maureen's report on 48 Hours tomorrow at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.